has its legal jurisdiction taken out of it. So it's local, it's not recognised around the world, and uh, has no effect from a legal point of view in the courts. But on the other side of the flag is the 1834, on the 20th of March, 1834, um, James Busby and Clendon, James Reedy Clendon, opened the native, grand, uh, native court, the Okiato Native Court, and that became a British government native court, straight to Britain with the paramount chief as a two-way contract from that point on. So I'm just saying, follow the ship back from there uh, to uh, uh, King William. Uh, in 1820, Hongi Heka and Tira Waikato Manukau went to England. Manukau, or Waikato as they call them, was instrumental in learning the uh, English language and putting the dictionary and marriage history together. And then he, with Kendall, the bishop, drafted the native title to the whole of New Zealand. They formed it in Edinburgh uh, in the uh, uh, lawyer's office, the, the convention lawyers Roy and Wood, uh, through uh, Lieutenant uh, William Simons. Now that became the magistrate. They crowned King William Real Estate Company. Straight. So they bought that to Hupanga Pa at Managa Hedge. The Scottish people bought that land and they had the receipt is in this book. I put it on line so you can see 65 pages of all the receipts that were signed before the Scots left to come here. And then the Crown New Zealand New South Wales booted them off into Avondale and into uh, Hillsborough and uh, <coughs> and so those people were done out. The Crown New South Wales switched the title into their own Crown State and took away that title that belongs to the Paramount Chiefs here and I'm picking four Paramount Chiefs to go and collect their title right to the Freemasons from Mohi Manukau. The Freemasons are running whole world on that title here in this book. And I put all the videos together, there's a thousand videos all together, and the last one I put together goes with this book explaining everything so that I don't have to waste my breath. My Fitbit goes up to 120, oh dear, it's too high. I've got no, no medication so I have to watch uh, myself from, from getting blown off too high. Uh, so I just want to say this, that I'm taking four Paramount Chiefs, including Kingy, they are Paramount and this up. He goes and seizes with a writ warrant, that's a writ warrant, the same as what President Duterte of Philippines is seizing the land to seize the gold inside it that belongs to the ground. He's taking the whole place with this with one. So we're going to do the same thing with these four paramount chiefs. They've got a, there's a carving with four pillars. The, 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 the Manukau title in England was under the Manukau Company and that was registered with that Tere Waikato Whanaherehe Manukau there and that title formed the basis of the whole of the, na the native titles in the world and that belongs to him. I'm saying that is fact, <coughs> citation, evidence in this court. The highest court in the whole world is that one across the other side where the crown here is doing their business with that. With that flag on the other side, the flip side. <coughs> That's lethal. It's the <coughs> jurisdiction of admiralty which is private. Nobody's business. It's only between two parties, the king and the paramount chief. So the paramount chief has to step up because that paramount name is on the legal papers as king, equal to the king, and he has the right to all that inheritance if the king is not there. So I'm saying to those four paramount chiefs that Bundy, uh, I was, I was uh, uh, un nominated by Mohi Manukau, I spent a long time with him, to executor of his estate. That's the money that he was selling this land from with the Freemasons as his company. He had no land here with his name on it. I said, where's all your land, Mohi? He says, there. And so that's how it's 
It's gone in right over the hole of every title in the world under the Scottish right title. They own all the certificates, the birth certificates and everything. Now, claimed them at Okiato, went to Aorawa Native Court in Helensville with the Manukau, Manukau and Rogan. John Rogan married the Paraya of Manukau and he was selling the land. Just a dirty little, little secret of the Freemasons. He was Freemason 50 years selling land right through, the, right through this country. And so that title from Aorawa went down to uh, uh, Whakawhitera Native Court in uh, Mount Higurangi there and the St. Mary's Church in Tiki Tiki was the birth, B-E-R-T-H, of Clinton, the magistrate, man. He took his boat from Hokianga to Hokiata down to the East Coast, Hicks Bay, and he went to put those register, B-I-R-T-H, birth certificates, as bonds into the church register and put our names on, that's why we didn't get blown up. We didn't get, we didn't get, they didn't take our land because we signed the doc. And my own marae in Tiki Tiki is Rahui Marae. You know what Rahui is? She's the land. And that's what's going to happen with that. So the, the, the Rogans married the Wano down there, the uh, 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 Oraiki Wano, and the Rogans, John Rogan, the uncle of uh, Mohi Manaka, married Mariah Manaka, and that formed the basis of the British title to that Manaka title claim over there. There's nobody to claim it because it's nobody's business but the Freemasons. He put me in to take that title and don't tell anyone. You're not supposed to know. Otherwise, my head's going to get blown off, so I'll get back to you so you all your heads get blown off. You see? I've got to take it off my head because I'm carrying it since he died. And that's, that's, that's the biggest issue at this moment. Who owns the estate of the Queen Victoria Trust? Kingy's a, Kingy's a, a descendant of Edward, King Edward, Edward and Queen Victoria. He got a right to go into there through this rent warrant and seize the bloody thing. Well, and we seize the land, Cook Street, I'm going back again with the four paramount chiefs. That's 2.5 billion. That's just one block. I'm going back to take that one to kick the whole thing off. You see? You're going to take the one block at a time and pick them off one by one. Even to govern the country, but pick them off one by one into this court. You see? The paramount chiefs sit here. On 6th of February, we had the native court over there, bought it from Okiato, went into that court on the other side because we got my carving down there. Right from down Rahui. And Kingi went in there, and Hohepa Etiha, and Willie Kata, and we put the native court there, the magistrate, the magistrate, and put it in the tent over there on 6th of February, the magistrate. Now, that's the court beside the Popo that owns this title. You see? So all I'm doing is the real estate agent <laughs> to give him his property back. Yep. You see? That's all it is. It's simple. It's simple. It's not only his private violation. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. He, he's, got a, he's got an electric signature. Just, it appears on him. He doesn't have to sign it. He just needs the other paramount chiefs to sign it and I'm going to go for it and see where that goes. <laughs> Because I've been talking about it for a long time with Boy Mulligan, trying to get over that. He said, stop, that's my Queen Street. He said, they're getting two million dollars from that Queen Street, and that's my Queen Street. They kicked me off because we're selling things down the street, and they said, you're taking the business away from Chinese. And so he said, I want it back. One more minute. Oh, one more So, uh, uh, you go online and see it on Facebook, and help yourself, because it belongs to you. Okay. Good.